Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a requested review and what's in my bag on the Lug Carousel XL in the print Stars and Shells Navy. This review was requested by Lauren on my Instagram page, so thank you for making this request. This is a bag that I've been wanting to talk about for quite some time since I got it. When I found this bag, I used it for a really long time without taking a break. I loved it for so many different reasons. Some of those reasons being, it's a nice compact size, it's very comfortable, it's got lots of pockets, and it's wipeable. It fits a generous amount of stuff, and it's just cute in this, pr in this print. This is my only Carousel XL, and I think it might just be that way. Not because I dislike the Carousel XL, but like I've mentioned in one of my other videos about a couple of Vera bags, like for example, the Hadley Crossbody in Heirloom Paisley, one of my all-time favorite bags. I love that bag because of the pattern bag style combination. It's kind of the same with this one. I love the bag style with this pattern specifically. So I don't think I would pick up another Carousel XL unless it was in a pattern that I couldn't resist. And I don't know that I would get anything else in Stars and Shells Navy. While it's beautiful, and maybe someday I will, that could always change, of course, I just think this pattern bag style combo is just perfect for me. So I just wanted to preface that real quick. But again, when I got this bag, I used it quite a bit just because it's a really great size and has a lot of great pockets. So let's start with the review. So on the front of the bag, just some of the detailing here that you'll see is that you have this nice D ring kind of on the side there and you have this um, kind of these little pieces of uh, the fabric stitched down so that it is stitched down there and that's more of like a decorative piece and you have what Lug calls the basket weave quilting and you also have their branding tag down here at the bottom which blends in really nice I will say so you can't really see that it's there so I do like those details a lot about the carousel bag here I'll actually get up a little closer to the camera so I would say um, it's earlier in the morning the colors are pretty accurate uh, on the camera. I felt like just a second ago maybe it wasn't, but I feel like it's getting a little better. I do have a um, top warm light on, so as you can see the back of my wall there is a little yellow, so I just wanted to get it closer to the natural light here. So on the front you do have a nice zipper pocket, and on this back style in particular it is those metal zipper pulls. One thing I love about Lugs zippers. They are just as smooth as butter. Vera zippers are great too, but there's just something about these lug zippers that are just, they're just really nice. I've never had any problems with their zippers. So in this front pocket here, this is how I have it organized. So let's see if I, maybe help, more helpful if I turn it this way for a moment, but there is a clear view pocket here intended for your ID or pictures or credit cards. I am not a built-in wallet type of person, so this has always been perfect for me um, to put my chapstick inside of. That way I can see it and it's right at the top. And then below that you have one, two, and that's it. You have two card slots and you can see right there it is RFID protected in this pocket. So if you put your wallet in here, if you decide to use the credit card slots, they will be RFID protected. So that is a really great feature. I also have my hand sanitizer just kind of put down there at the bottom. Let me make sure I'm not missing any features. I, there might be, is there a pen slot in this part? I don't think so, not that I see. Okay, so you do have a stretchy cargo pocket on the back inside of this. And yes, it is that nice soft line material. So it's perfect for sunglasses. That's where I have those. I usually like to use my um, Vera Bradley Hummingbird sunglasses case, but in this particular bag, I don't see a need to really use it just because you have that nice soft line pocket back there. Hopefully you can see that. It's like that gray color, very soft. Um, also a good place for your cell phone. But I do have my hand sanitizer in here. I like to keep it down in that corner so it's not as bulky. And it fits 
perfect. So that's all that I have in that pocket. Of course, if I need to throw like a quick mask in there or something, that will fit. And sorry, you don't really see my face. I just want to make sure you, you get an up close look at the bag here. That's more important. Next pocket up, we have a straight across zipper pocket. This one has no organization inside. It's just an open pocket and you get a better look at that interior print, which is like a whitish background with all of these pretty nautical colored stripes. And in here is just my key pocket. So this is where I keep my key and my key ring. That way it's easy access. I know where it is at all times. And then the pocket right above that, so you have this little pull tab here to kind of help you open the pocket if need be. And now you have another soft line pocket intended for your cell phone or your sunglasses or whatever you would like to use it for. This pocket is a horizontal pocket and it goes down to right about here. My finger's right about there. I have the iPhone 11 regular size and it fits perfectly inside of that pocket. Magnetic finds its place. It's a hidden magnet, which is really nice. And voila, that is your intended phone pocket. The next pocket that we're going to get to is the main interior. So the zipper goes from here, right above where the crossbody strap is, all the way around to the other side where the other attachment for the crossbody strap is. So here's how the bag opens up. Opens up relatively wide so you can see everything that you have inside. I love that the interior is that nice light color so you can see everything perfectly. On the back side of the bag, you have the Lug Carousel XL tag. I really like that Lug does this because someone who's relatively new to the brand like me, um, it's kind of hard to remember all of the different styles and things like that. So for them to put that right there is great. I also think it's great for those who you know sell things so they know the name of it that way if you're on the market for something you might be able to easily find an item because the name is right in there but anyway so the inside here we have two stretchy cargo pockets that are not soft lined and let's see if i can do this with one hand here in one of the cargo pockets i have my lovely iconic round coin purse and the print owls. This is a Vera Bradley item. And I just have my charging cord kind of rolled up there along with the black cord that charges this. And this is a Vera Bradley uh, portable battery pack. So it's all charged, ready to go. It's in the print charcoal medallion. I've wanted this ever since I saw it in Warthog Princess's video. I noticed at the time that they didn't have it on the website, but I went into a Vera Bradley store and they had one left and it was during their they had a sale for like 20% off everything in the store at the time um, it was right before Christmas and I picked this up so I really like it I have used it it has it holds really good I think a really good amount of charge for um, my iPhone 11 so I usually have my um, you know, the, the, the charger piece that you plug into the wall when you're charging your phone. But I thought, you know, I don't, now that I have one of these, it's nice and small, compact. It's just easy just to have these two in my bag and they go pretty well together as well. So that is in that back cargo pocket and you can kind of see how well it fits because that cargo pocket is very generous. And then on the other side, I have my usual bath and body lotion. Fits perfectly and that's all I have in there. You can see there's plenty of room to spare. On the other side of the bag is one of Lug's more iconic pockets, and this is their clear view zipper pocket. So you have one of those nice soft zippers again, and you have a clear view pocket that goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag, and that's where I have all of my cosmetic related items. So I've got like my medicine, I've got some band-aids kind of rolled up there, a little travel pack of Tylenol. Um, I got this from Amazon. I bought some toiletry bottles, like empty toiletry bottles, and this was like free in the pack. And I have my Tylenol in there. And then um, always have a mini pair of scissors in my bag. Very careful with them that they don't poke anything. So I try to tuck them behind stuff. 
um, as well as my nail file and nail clippers. So that's basically all that I have in that pocket. You can see there is plenty of room in this pocket, so I could have it packed more. But I just wanna uh, add a little disclaimer here about that. So in some of Lug's bags, the, their clear view pocket fights with other pockets with space. Not all of their bags, but some of them. This is one of them. So for example, if you have a lot in say this pocket, which my keys are kind of bulky and I just have one set of keys in there right now. But if I put more in this pocket, it kind of bul bulks back into this pocket and pushes it out. Therefore making it a little bit harder to put my cell phone in this one. Because this cell phone pocket is nestled between this zipper pocket and that clear view pocket. So I think that's why I wanted to keep it nice and simple in this pocket back here. I mean, I have everything that I would usually carry, so it's not like I had to go without, but just kind of a little disclaimer there that if you pack this pocket a lot, or if you pack this one a lot, it's gonna make or break whether or not you can get your cell phone in this pocket. Like even me sticking my hand down in here, I can feel the keys that are in this one. So just some food for thought there. And then for the main interior, let's get a look at the base. So this whole base right here is the room that you're getting in the main interior. I have a decent amount of stuff in there. I mean, could definitely, as you can see with the angle there, I could fit some more stuff on top. But again, I feel like I have everything that I really need in there for every day. So let's take a look. So this is that multi-purpose lipstick case that I showed in my more recent video, my favorite Vera Bradley little things. This is in the pattern Indiana Rose. In that other video, I was using it as um, a case to hold all of the stuff that was in this clear view pocket. Today, I'm using it as a tissue case. So I have my pack of tissues in there. Then I have my little lug mask pouch. This is I, I maybe tropical navy, I'm not sure. Um, and I just have one of my masks in there. I like to put my used mask in there, that way it's not touching anything else in the bag. I also have, let's see, I have my Biddy backpack keychain. This is in the print night and day. I love this thing. Yesterday when I was using my featherweight crossbody, I had this attached on the outside with my hand sanitizer inside. But today I have my AirPods case inside. Fits really nicely in there. That way if I do want to just grab and go, take my AirPods case, clip it to my zip ID or clip this to my belt loop or something, I have it. And I just love the night and day print. I just think the pattern placement is really pretty. I love how this side is almost all black and the other side is almost all white. It's very cute. And then the last thing that I have, I think the last thing in the main interior, I decided to go, you know, with a nice little ocean theme here. So, you know, you have the Stars and Stones Navy print, which we'll talk about a little bit more here. Um, and then the Vera Bradley Shore thing print. This is, oh, the color is coming out so nice on camera right now. Um, this is um, the Gen Zip ID, which I also showed in my Vera Bradley Little Things video. Um, I really wanted to switch back into this because I haven't really used it as much as I usually would when I first got it so I wanted to switch into it pretty pretty quickly. This I got on Amazon I don't know if it was last year I think it was maybe early last year and they only had one so I was like I can't control my pattern placement because I can't see it and there's only one left so I'm just gonna order it and see what happens. This was when, you know, the pattern was becoming, and it still is, pretty rare. Uh, and when I got it in the mail, I got almost a perfect seahorse down there. His head's not cut off by the flap or anything. A little bit of his tail's missing, but that's no big deal at all. And then love the teal and um, blue starfish there at the top. It's just really, really pretty. And then, of course, you have all the pretty coral. You've got the um, varying blue background that looks like waves. It's just so pretty. Um, oh yeah, I won't show the front of it because my zip I, or my uh, license is in there. But if you want to see uh, a more 
in-depth look at this, just check out my Vera Bradley Little Things video. It came right before this one, so, or I mean this video that I'm doing right now. But I also have my keys uh, to my car clipped to this zip ID, so it's kind of good because that set of keys isn't in this pocket because again, if you put too much in this pocket, it's kind of going to bulk it out for the other two pockets that I talked about earlier. But anyway, there is the interior one more time. So again, you could fit more in there, definitely. Um, but I just like to keep it simple. I have what I need inside of the bag. So that's your main interior. And we've got one more pocket left to talk about. And this is where you get to see the really pretty pattern placement with the beautiful starfish here. But here we have a zipper pocket and that's my cat trying to get in. I usually shut the door so there's not as much noise in here and he's scratching the door. So um, anyway, here is the back zipper pocket. I would recommend putting thin things in this pocket, but of course you can do whatever you would like. You could put a wallet back here or something. But this is the part that's going to lay against your body when you're carrying the bag. So I kept it nice and simple. I have my, let's see if I can get it out. I have my little um, pencil pouch, trio pouch, and super bloom. And this is where I like to keep my wet wipes. I also have um, my brother's picture back here. And a scrunchie. And I think that is all I have in that back pocket. So perfect for your more thin items, but again, you could put like a tram wallet back there if you wanted to. Um, not RFID protected back here, but the tram is. So you could do that. Um, or you could put like, I wouldn't recommend putting say like a Gen Zip ID because it is a little bulkier, but if you have a regular Zip ID, you could put that back there. Um, my phone easily fits back here, so yeah. But let's talk about the pattern a little bit. So you have a deep, and I mean a very deep navy background. Um, and then you've got pops of teals. Sorry about my cat. You got pops of teals and blues. You have a nice variant blue here with this starfish. I just love the coral and foliage on this bag here. So again, you've got that nice simple background, but then I think these bright pops of colors really make it nice. Let me let my cat in. Hold on. I don't know if you can hear that in the video at all, but he's scratching on the door like crazy. Um, he doesn't like when the doors are closed. But anyway, yeah, so I just really like the pattern placement back here with the shells and the foliage and, of course, the bigger starfish. And then again, you know, you got a little more of a simple placement here, but still nice pops of color. And now for the strap. So you do get an adjustable, removable strap. So if you're someone that likes to switch your straps out, you can, or you know, if you're taller, shorter, or anything in between, you can adjust. Oh, no, 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 we, we can't do that. So he wants to, of course, jump up on this because that's where I'm giving the most of my attention right now. And so that's what he wants. So he's gonna try to knock it over. But I just wanted to show you what this looks like on me as a crossbody. Over here. <laughs> he's crazy. Someone commented on one of my videos that he's the star of the show here. He is the star of the show. So, if you haven't met Poppy yet, this is Poppy. Mm. You good boy. You good boy. But this is what the bag looks like on me crossbody. 5'2. I like it right, basically right on top of my hip. Sometimes I will adjust it to be a little shorter. Sometimes I even adjust it to be a little bit longer, but I would say this is the Goldilocks adjustment for me. So that's kind of what it looks like. You see, he's biting me right now. Do you see what I have to deal with? This is my filming partner here. Um, but yeah, that's what the bag looks like. Stop, don't scratch, that's not nice. That's not nice, you're on camera, people can see you. Yeah, so that's what the bag looks like, there's the there's the quilting on the side there. Again, no quilting on the back, but it goes throughout the side and the front. But yes, that is the, the Carousel XL crossbody. Um, I think you can find this on QVC, on the Lug website. When I bought this, this was hard to find. Um, when I bought this last year, I bought it off of someone 
in um, one of the love groups that I'm in. So um, I think it's more readily available now, like maybe on Amazon. <laughs> Do you see this? Um, so you could probably find this a little bit easier. But anyway, Lauren, I hope this helps you. Thank you everyone for tuning into my channel and seeing Popey scratch the heck out of me. Um, I have a couple more requested videos um, in the pipeline here. Featherweight tote, featherweight crossbody, and one of my most requested videos is to do a bag collection video. Um, I get that almost every other video that I post. Um, that one, I might have to divide in parts. So I might have to strategically divide it in parts because it will be a really long video if I um, do it all in one go. And if you haven't guessed it, let me see if I can do this without my cat clawing my back off here. Um, so see that closet back there? That's where all of my Vera is. So everything Vera Bradley that I own that I'm not currently using or that's not currently in use somewhere in the house, it's all in that closet right there. It's not all Vera, like all my coats are in there, my suitcases are in there, um, but all my Vera is also in there with that stuff. So um, either I will you know, divide the video into parts or bring everything out here on the bed and show you but to do a collection and storage video, um, it's, it's going to be a lot, but trust me, it's coming. So anyway, thanks for watching my video, and I hope to see you again in a little bit. Bye.